give a small guide to your success in your upcoming HS final exam in a case of physics okay now let's come on to the distribution here there is the max distribution of uh, the second year appearing students for physics so the main topics are being divided into optics which consist of ray and wave optics atoms nuclei dual nature semiconductor and all now if you see topic wise in optics it consists of 14 marks and it in case of modern physics it consists of 22 marks above uh, you can say above 50 percent if i'm not wrong because total mark is of 70 marks now these two topics mainly means optics and modern physics these two contributes above 50 percent then the rest contributes near day 49 point something percent okay now see if i see some of the important strategies for this preparation if i see your total marks will be of 70 marks i have made some of the um, uh, statistics okay from the previous years of the 70 marks numerical portion consists of your 25 marks and in that 25 marks approx these are all the approx values out of this 25 marks 12 marks are purely numerical and 13 marks rest 13 marks of this numerical portion have got some important options for this derivation okay like you can say um, suppose two mark question may come in numerical and there will be an option for derivation also means this derivation portion is playing a huge role here this derivation okay so if i see the marks again 70 minus 12 is 58 marks means you have got 58 out of 70 marks in your hand for important derivations as well as for important other short questions okay no doubt you have to focus on these numericals but those students i'm uh, taking <coughs> examples of those students who are have not completed the whole syllabus but having the urge to get more and more marks okay now see so let's move on to the important parts like uh, the important derivations of these topics you see the important topics here so this is a list which consists of important derivations or uh, some long questions which consist of two to three marks so i'm not going to dictate all the points you can just pause the video and uh, see all the important derivations okay this is from optics it consists of ray and it has got this six important derivations no doubt apart from this some other important questions may arise but these are those questions which you cannot neglect at all okay, this is the ray optics and and there comes the wave optics wave optics then it comes uh, dual nature plus atoms and nuclei means you can say this is a part of uh, modern physics one okay next uh, let's move on to the other topics like semiconductor in semiconductor you have got the semiconductor along with communication system okay along with a semiconductor there is communication system it consists of nine important points means nine important derivations then in electrostatics electrostatics may have uh, 10 derivations okay which are very most important like Coulomb's law in vector form Gauss theorem proof from the Coulomb's law and vice versa electric potential at any point due to dipole see I have mentioned here some topics like in this topic electric potential at any point due to a dipole but it has got some special cases also like at axial point and an equatorial point you have to see all those points also okay i have not mentioned here but you have to uh, see all those points as well next for current electricity you have got these topics five topics initially i did not mention this because i thought that series and parallel combination of resistors will be done by all but i felt that that will be negligence by me so i have added this also <clears throat> next one more topic is present for this current electricity that is potentiometer 
Metro Bridge and Whitstone Bridge. And remember that you should not neglect the numericals of these portions. Each and every year, numericals has been asked from potentiometer, Kirchhoff's law. Some important topics are present. If you want to make a different video for this numerical portion, then you can in the comment section. So next, let's move on to the magnetic effects. In magnetic effects, we have uh, got these points of uh, bioservert and starting from bioservert and ending at uh, this galvanometer description. Galvanometer it consists some principle is present. What is the principle used for galvanometer? Then conversion of galvanometer to voltmeter. Then uh, subsequently to ammeter. What are the connections? How this uh, has been converted? You should see all this. But I have ne uh, not mentioned here about the magnetism. Okay, I have uh, kept out of this my from uh, this sheet. Next, uh, let's move on to AC. These are the some important topics of AC. Most of the students neglect this chapter, okay, but this should not be neglected. I can see the marks distribution of AC, how much it contributes, as I have given in the front page. And from uh, this section, this is the most important. I hope everyone will agree with it. Four, but see, don't uh, directly jump to this impedance. First, you have to learn what is uh, reactance and everything, and then you combine all together. This is actually what I have made is both for those students who have prepared their level best, and some other students might be present who uh, wants a fast, you know, like fast catalyst, or you can say, this ko chate jaldi se jaldi khatam kare syllabus jo tin din mein. To un logo ke liye bhi ye hai. They have to prepare at least these topics and if these topics are too large for them then I can make another separate video which are the most important ones for those okay so these are the main topics so let's hope you will be doing good in this all topics during preparation and all the best for your exam thank you